now we'll move to this uh, another part which is how we can uh, play with the salesforce data the data is the records which are stored in salesforce how we can access them okay how we can use them in our salesforce coding or in the apex classes so the first thing is here is the soql SQL is language using which we can query out the records which are stored in our Salesforce. So using SQL, SQL will form a Salesforce object query language. Using this SQL, we are querying out the objects of the Salesforce. Okay, so using SQL, we can query only one object at a time. You can perform SQL queries on one object only at a time, not more than one objects. Second point is we can query on all the fields of any data type except rich text area and the long text area. These two fields are, or the data type are not supported in our SQL queries. So there are number of data types are available using which we can we use to create our field. So when we are performing our SQL queries, these two field values are not returned in the SQL queries because they are not supported, the rich text area and the long text area. Now, the next is we can perform DML operation on the query results. So whatever the results you are getting from this SQL queries, you can perform the DMLs over these records. It returns list of record that is, so the return type of this uh, SQL query is list of S object. Whatever the object we are querying out, it will going to give us the uh, in the list format. And here S object will be the object on which we are doing SQL query. Okay. So these are the few base, um, main points related to the SQL query. So from the interview, if we uh, interviewer can ask you like what type of fields are type data types are not supported here. What is the return type of the SQL queries? Can we perform DMLs over the SQL queries or not? Okay. So how we can use the SQL queries in our Salesforce or what is the format of this? Like suppose I want to query out the account records. For this, first we will going to initialize our list because whatever the results we will going to get from the SQL will be of list format. The return type will be the list. So I have created a list of account. This is the name of my list, then equals to new list of account. Okay. Now, how we can use the SQL queries or how we used to write them? Select whatever the fields you want to query out or for which you want to know the values, you will going to add all the field name here. So in my account, ID is available, type is the field and rating is field from account. So this is the object from which you want to get all these three field values. Okay, if I print this, let's see what the result we will going to get. So from developer console itself, here you will going to see this is my query editor. And here, whatever the query you want to check, you can directly paste here and check whether this is correct or not. Okay, so there are total 1543 number of accounts available in my org. These are the IDs. So these are the columns which it has returned me are same which I have added in this SQL query. ID is there, type is there and rating is there. So here they are blank. Okay, the, they, where the records are having the values are only printed. So most of them are blank. I think all are blank. Let's see if any record is having any value related to them. Okay, so this record is having value like type is this technology, then rating is hot. And here, okay. So this is how it will going to give me the result. So the for return type is list, list of account it has returned me. Now the next query is like, I want to add filter also. I, I don't want to query out all the records from this account. So let's filter out the record. How we can do select ID type and rating. So these three values I want from account, okay. So my condition is I only want the account where rating is equals to called. Okay. Wherever in whichever account rating value is equals to called, it will going to return me the data or the records. But the record should be only 10. Okay. Limit is 10 here. 
if that is the maximum records it will going to return means 10 minimum it can be zero also there can be possibility no account is having rating cost to code so in such cases zero records will be returned but if there are like suppose 12 records are there then maximum 10 it will going to return me because of this limit okay so this is how our sql queries works let's run this also i'm not sure any record is available with this filter okay so three records are available with rating called okay it has returned me the th all three records okay so this is how my sql queries works so now the next is the sosl so this is also another language using which we used to get the data from the salesforce so here this is the language using which we are searching on a particular object so here we are not querying out we are searching the values okay using sosl we can search on many objects at a time so you it does in the sql only one object can be query out at a time but in the sosl num many objects that is it can be one two three okay four five and um, any number of objects you can add to use the sosl we can query only on the fields whose data type is text phone and email only these three data types are supported here if you want to search any uh, any uh, word or any phone number or any email then whatever the fields are available will this data type in your objects all the fields will be searched using this sosl we cannot perform dml operation on the search result whatever the results you are getting from this sosl you cannot perform dml operation but using SOSL, DMLs can be performed on the records, which is query out. Here, the return type will be list of list. Okay. Here, it will going to give me the list. But again, here in this list, the data store is the list of S objects. S object means the objects on which you are searching. Here also, it will be with the list of S object. Like suppose on the account and contact I want to search. So here first index will be the list of account. Okay. And the second index will be the list of contact. This is how it will going to return me the data. So here let's see the syntax of this. Here find is the keyword using which we will going to search the data from the uh, salesforce records okay find and then the name or the phone number or email you want to search you will going to add it to the curly braces then this in all fields okay in all fields which i will going to add here okay returning contact from the contact i want to search this test value only from name email and phone okay similarly from the account i want to get value from the name and the industry okay let's run this query and see how we will going to get the data So this is fine. This is my text which I want to search in all the fields returning contact. From the contact, it should return name, email, and phone number, these three fields, and the values from these three. And from the account, I want to get name and the industry. So here, as you can see, it has returned me two lists. First is the list of contact which is containing 26 records where test is present either in email or in uh, name or in phone number. Okay. Now the next second list which it has shown me is the list of account where it has returned me 120 records where test is available from the name and the industry. 
So this is how my SOSL will going to work and return me the values. If I add one more object here, then you can add like uh, this from the opportunities also. I want to get values from name or the email, whatever the fields you're going to add. Then at this time, it will going to show you the opportunities also. That is the three list it will going to show you. The first from contact, account, and the opportunities. Okay. Okay, now next is let's suppose this time here, I have added these fields also that uh, these fields should be also available. If I do not uh, add any fields, what it will going to return me at this time, like I just only want to search for account and contact. Let's print this. So when you will not going to provide any field here, at this time, it will only going to return you the uh, IDs of the record where this test is available in the fields. Okay. The IDs are available. So these are the IDs of the record for account. And these are the IDs of the record from contact. Sorry, account and the contact at this time. Okay. 